Well, it's a hot one, but it could be a lot worse. We were at 94 a couple days ago in Greenville. Right now we're sitting at 89 degrees, 90 in Spartanburg, sitting at 85 up in Asheville, generally upper 80s across the southern part of the upstate too. It'll be warm for those high school football games tonight. Temperatures in the mid 80s around kickoff and then around upper 70s at halftime. So cooling down slowly as we go through your evening. Right around 70 tonight in the upstate. A few clouds around, a lot like the last few nights we've had, except for the fact that we really haven't had much in the way of pop-up storms out there. So we could still have a couple of showers early in the mountains. For the most part, though, staying dry. On Saturday, mostly dry conditions. Yes, it'll be hot, but it'd be great to take advantage of the pool. Maybe one of the last times before it closes. I know our neighborhood pool is going to be closing up around Labor Day, so it's just uh, time to get in as much swimming as you can uh, before we transition into to fall. So rating the day on the Carolina Sky Meter, giving it an 8 out of 10. It'll be hot, but at least we won't have any thunderstorms to track. Now we are tracking a storm down in the Caribbean. In fact, a Category 1 hurricane. Latest update, it's strengthened by 5 miles per hour, an 80 mile per hour storm at the moment, and it's expected to come in. Look at this. This is a brand new update, now expected to be a Cat 4. I mean, that's pretty, that's huge. That's significant. Cat three is bad enough, but cat four, that's when you get to that catastrophic damage level. Um, we're talking about storm surge that could exceed 15 feet in parts of uh, southeastern Louisiana. It's going to move on shore and weaken to a tropical storm as we get into Monday. But yeah, this is actually the first time I'm seeing this update because it literally just came into our system. Uh, it'll be moving in. The location of landfall really hasn't changed much. Uh, maybe it has moved slightly to the west. We'll be on shore as a Category 1 hurricane. And then here's what it looks like once it moves on land. It's going to be moving through central Tennessee and then likely just north of our area. That's what most of the models are doing with it right now. This would be late Tuesday into Wednesday as a remnant area of low pressure. Still could bring us some rain. Severe threat and flood threat will not be as high as they were with Fred, but something we'll have to watch. Notice the computer models, again, generally keeping it north of but they're all over the place. We still have to watch this because it could transition farther to the south. Here's a quick look at future cast. Notice that it's going to stay dry through the weekend. Even Monday looks mostly dry, but Tuesday, that's when the rain will approach. The heavier rain will be to our north, but we will still get showers and perhaps a few strong thunderstorms into the day on Wednesday. So here's a look at your next seven days. Dry and hot this weekend, and then as we head into next week, that's when rain chances go up. If that track goes any farther south, if it moves over our area, we'll be looking at a much greater risk of severe weather as well as heavy rain, uh, but we'll continue to still have a chance for rain out of it. And then going through the rest of the week, rain chances will slowly start to go down. Of course, you can download our Fox Carolina app. We'll send updates to the app throughout the weekend on the forecast for Ida.